What's up guys, Greg here. Big day today in the shop because I'm working on my project Bronco. I got to finalize finishing all the painting on the frame, get this rear suspension done and those new Skyjacker leaf springs installed so I can get this truck off the lift. We got a lot of work to get done today, so let's get started. <music> All right guys, our second coat of rust preventative paint on the frame is finally dry and it looks absolutely fantastic. Now I can start reassembling this rear suspension, starting with all of our leaf spring brackets and shackles, and then those Skyjacker leafs, a couple shocks, we can bolt this diff back up, get the truck back on the ground. All right guys, first things first, I'm gonna get this forward leaf spring bracket in place on the frame. Uh, and I'm sure I've mentioned this already throughout this build, but great part about these trucks is that there are a ton of parts available for them. Um, these brackets are actually supplied by Dorman and they are the exact replicas of the original ones that came on the truck from the factory. Look at the fit. I mean, it lines up perfectly. So we'll get this in place. Give that a little something. All right, guys, I'm gonna install the same thing, the forward leaf spring bracket on the passenger side, because you're gonna really have to install both leafs relatively at the same time due to the solid axle. All right, guys, new set of rear leaf spring shackles to go along with our forward leaf spring mounts. These bolts may be a little bit hard to get in, because of that rust preventative paint, so I may need to persuade him just a little bit. There we go. What the hell? All right, guys, same thing for this side. New rear leaf spring shackle for those Skyjacker leafs. And I'm leaving everything loose so I can kind of move this around uh, when I install the new springs. Next, it's time to install the springs. All right, guys. If you do have someone to give you a hand with this, it's a lot easier. First thing we're gonna do is put in our factory blocks on the rear diff. This pin is gonna go into the leaf spring perch on the differential. And then, get a friend, help lift these things. I'll sneak that in, come my way a little bit. Actually, we gotta go a little bit lower with, oh, that's too much. I'm in up front. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. All right, I am in. Nice. All right, now we're gonna take this factory U-bolt bracket that came off the truck, and we got a new set of U-bolts that we're gonna be using with our new Skyjacker leaf springs. All right guys, what I've done is I've raised the rear axle up enough to simulate ride height uh, so I don't damage these new bushings. We're gonna crank it down. All 
right, I'm just going to assemble our new Skyjacker Hydro 7000 shocks. They give us bushings and everything. Give it a little bit of lubricant on there. You can only just press me with your hands. But if not, actually, there it goes. If not, you can always use a vise. Sometimes it's just easier that way. Open it up. That's it. Clamp it closed. Pressed in. And we'll use the provided zip tie. Slide this onto the top mount. Got to work it on a little bit. Very hot. And there you have it. He's all hooked back up. Well guys, it was a ton of work, but well worth the effort. Just look at this thing. From that lopsided old truck to this awesome stance that it has now with this Skyjacker lift kit. We really transformed this truck and it's now 100% safe to drive and I can't wait to start enjoying it. But we're not done yet. This was just phase one of, well, multiple phases. There's no denying the fact that this Bronco needs a whole lot of work. We're still gonna tackle the interior, do an engine tune up and of course this rust repair which is gonna be a huge undertaking. But I'm gonna take you every step of the way. So if you haven't yet, make sure, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and I'll see you guys next time.